Hello everyone and welcome to one more game in the matchup Necrons vs Toy Empire. Again on the Battle Marshes. The previous game on Battle Marshes was quite short. This one I believe it will be much longer, over 20 minutes. It will be another very interesting game from what I remember. My opponent is uh, Killa Seth from clan Killa. Goes for four generators, uh, turret, and all the scarabs, Necron Warrior. Now I go for two stealth, stealth suits. Jetpacks and tow commander, also generator. Jetpack upgraded for the self suits, they can uh, jump. Also for the Vespids and for the Tow Commander. I go for Vespids and Tow Commander this game. And when you go for these two leaders fast, um, you do not have enough requisition for a while to place uh, the listening post, as you can see right here. My requisition income. The amount of requisition was about 50. So you lose some time when you go for these two leaders fast. But it's not a big problem. Now I am jumping with the Vespids, with the Tau Commander. I will try to do some damage. The turret is already built. It was surprising for me. A very fast turret. Well, going for turret instead of the Abelisk. I think Abelisk upgraded is better than turret in this matchup. Because one Abelisk hit on the Vespids can deal insane damage. And the Vespids are very expensive at the start. So the Abelisk pays up very quickly and does not allow the Vespids to fly around. Turret is also good but it has a um, less HP than the Abelisk and uh, Vespids might be able to destroy the turret doing some Harris as much as I can trying to kill the Scarabs here destroy this Abelisk or at least not allow him to build Scarab, is a, a scarab run away on very low HP Stealth, stealth suit team idling right here, I am busy on this side. Went also to decap this point. This map is good for Vespids because there is uh, this terrain around, you can jump over this uh, terrain and uh, annoy your enemy. Jump around these sides all the time. And that way you control three strategic points. Two strategic points and a relic. Now I will also try to decap this probably. But I try to capture also this point from Necron's base. Now I jump on the turret. But I will go back. Because I saw this one but it's not finished. Well, the Vespid's jumps can be quite broken sometimes. I mean, it's very annoying when you jump around all the map with them to annoy your enemy and do the Harris. Necron Lord now went to my base. I am upgrading one listening post to LP2. It will shoot. We will defend these generators a bit. Finally got this relic here on the fourth minute. The Vespids protecting this, uh, but I don't think Vespids will destroy these scarabs in time. No, they won't. 
Necron Lord here will try to destroy my uh, generator, but thanks to the Toe Commander with Flamer, his HP goes down quickly and also the Morel. But he went in close combat. I should control my Toe Commander and go back. I lost quite a lot of HP because of my uh, attention. I did not pay attention to this moment. I was busy on this side. I keep the Herex going, don't give him time to rest, but I also pay with the HP of the Toe Commander for this. I am not fast enough, it seems, in this game. Going for tier 2, 80-60-30 economy for me, Seth's economy plus 50, really? That's, that's quite low, only 4 generators. Will I decap this again? Yeah, I do. Seth made uh, the flayed ones. And I do not have the fire warriors. Now he goes with the Necron warriors. He made lots of them and he upgraded. And I am trying here to destroy the turret with the Vespids. This turret is not finished. I think Seth wanted to cancel the tur that turret later. But he probably forgot about it. Now we'll start to destroy the generators and I might destroy this one. The turret gets finished finally. Will I run away from here? My base is in a, is in a big danger. Some kind of all-in on tier 1 from Seth. I am going for vehicle beacon in this corner. A good position. When you get... Uh, must like this. I did not see this coming. I would make more fire warriors earlier. That's very dangerous situation for me right here. I have only two commander Vespids and fire warrior squad, which will probably get killed. I do not control them well. I keep harassing with the Vespids all around the map. Yeah, my fire warrior got killed by the Necron Lord. My bad. At least I hit, I managed to hit tier 2. But it seems like Path of Enlightenment goes down and it seems like it's over, yeah? I lost this game. And I really have no idea how I managed to survive. Because I, seems like I have only the Tau Commander right here. The Vespids keep the Harris on the other side. I added this uh, Vespids train leader. It adds more HP to this squad of the Vespids. Now I will try to destroy this plasma generator. And I go to defend my base with a stealth suit team. Well, I won't be able to defend this headquarters. This is my only production building right now, the vehicle beacon. And thanks god I have these two builders right here. I will manage to build probably the barracks later and another HQ. What is the problem for Seth now is that his generators get destroyed by the Vespids here and he is not tier 2. He will not have anti-vehicle to kill my vehicles. Well, the devil fish he can manage to kill with the Necron warriors, but if I will make some uh, Barracuda he, he will not have any answer to that. He seems to be happy right now. I know this feeling. But I, I did not give up. I saw with the Vespids he is not tier 2. So I still have all the chances to win. He won't be able to hit tier 2 anytime soon. His economy is only plus 20, his uh, reserve 50 energy. So if I keep playing, I have the chances to win here. Because I have the vehicle beacon and I can keep making those vehicles. My Vespids also are still alive, I can keep the Harris on the map. Seth is on 3 obelisks only from all the map. He has only 3 strategic points, while I have all the rest of the map. Uh, 
so uh, having these stealth suits infiltrated with the leader, they can destroy the abelisks. Vespids can tie one squad of Necron warriors up here. The devil fishes can also deal the damage while infiltrated to the flayed ones and Necron warriors. I saved my uh, builders there right here. Can I can place some. Um, Probably another tow barracks if, it, if this one gets destroyed. Making one fire warrior team. Vespids very low in HP, I should go back with them, but I did not control. Again, one my mistake. Cost me the Vespid squad. Well, I was quite lost in my mind. I didn't know what to do at this point in the game. I was about to give up. But I kept playing. And seems like my vehicle beacon will also go down by the Necron Warriors flayed ones. And again it seems like total defeat. But not all is lost yet. I managed to kill Necron infantry slowly, but surely my income is plus 53, that's uh, more than on Necron right now. He has only plus 20 income, and he keeps investing the, his resources into the Necron warriors and flayed ones. I have no base basically, only the tow barracks, and he does not know where this is located, he did not see this. He doesn't see this barracks, he doesn't know where to go, so he will go on this side now. I am restoring my economy, building the listening posts, keep taking the map, harassing with a stealth team this obelisk now. And where is my devil fish? I go on this side with my devil fishes. Now he has the scarabs around and he can detect and look how fast Necron Warriors destroy this. Well, it's because it's um, it has only 750 HP, that's why the Devil Fishes can be destroyed even by the Necron Warriors. Pretty fast. Big advantage is also that this uh, vehicle can carry the Fire Warriors. So it's easier to manage and try to kill these Necron Warriors. Also I have the Optics, their damage is increased. Flayed ones will get killed here. Three Fire Warrior squads against three Necron Warrior squads right now. Also Devilfish. Very intense game, but the power of Necron all in was shown in this game. Nicely displayed. And this Necron all in is a very good strategy to use versus Tau because Tau in tier 1 has low, low uh, pop cap. So it might not be able to counter all the Necron Warriors, Flayed Ones and so on, even if Tau will go for full limits on Tier 1 on infantry. So this all-in from Necrons is really a good strategy to use versus Tau Empire. But somehow I keep... I am keeping myself alive in this game. 14th minute. And it's not over yet. Repairing these devil fish. I need them badly. Going for another Tau barracks right here. We'll have two of them just in case. Huge losses from Necrons in, in this uh, battle that happened now for about two minutes from this side to this side. 
he invested a lot in the flayed ones and necron warriors and his income is very low, plus 30. My income plus 66, it slowly goes up. What's the map vision for me? I still have control of all my points. One critical, no, this one is not mine. I will get control of this one soon, and this one. I realize that his economy is quite low, so I do not want to give him more time, I go instantly after his attack to his base. One, two, three, four, five squads of Necron Warriors, but his economy is not high enough, only plus 30. He also took the relic from this side now, he has four obelisks, more speed, more pop cap, but his problem is the economy now. And map control. Now, how can he deal with this? And can he deal with this attack of mine at all? Look at this. Necron warriors will get killed very fast. I think he, yeah, he keeps the, the overwatch on them. All his resources go into these Necron warriors and he is still tier 1. That's why you shouldn't play with uh, 4 generators as Necron. Eventually you will, you will get out tacked and we'll lose the game. Strange teleportation here. Where uh, these Necron warriors are too fragile to keep fighting the fire warriors but deal insane damage and ranged. They might have a chance in close combat but then they will get um, shot by uh, the devil fishes anyway. Good damage done to the fire warriors. Somehow he still manages to pull me back. But for how long will he do that? I still have one of my fire warriors alive, another one coming. His necron warrior slowly will go down sooner or, or later. This one seems like his days are gone. Oh, and I save it on 7 HP, the magic number. Okay, my income improved a lot. I am restoring my HQ right now, plus 82 economy, making more fire warriors. That's really all I need in this game, fire warriors, for killing his Necron warriors. I don't need something else. Going for some generators because I have plus zero income on energy. My income on requisition improved a lot right after finishing this. It gives plus 20 income on requisition. Tier 4, he says. I don't know what he means. Because he is tier 1 and I am also tier 1. But at least I have the optics for fire warriors the tier 2 upgrade. Sadly I did not add the weapons to this squad of, in, of stealth suits. Not, in my, not enough uh, damage from them on the buildings. And again another attack from him with a huge mass of tier 1 Necron warriors going towards my base. What will happen here? Let's see. Seems like a suicide move from Seth. But is it? Because once they get close enough, the fire warriors can't do... Can't simply stay and shoot them, they, sh they must retreat. But anyways, these Necron warriors will go down really, really quick. 
I will be able to move my fire fire warriors aw away uh, with the help of Devil Fish pretty fast. As you can see. And his Necron warriors slowly but surely are dying, all of them. He has only two squads left. The fire warrior damage is too much for these Necron warriors and he teleports back. He killed basically only a few fire warrior models, nothing else. Without Necron Lord and Solar Pules, it's very hard to stop those Fire Warriors. Keeping the Overwatch on the Fire on the Necron Warriors is not good. Uh, you should have made the Necron Lord instead with artifacts, less Necron Warrior investment. Maybe then you could have a chance, but I don't think so because of the economy. My economy is much better, 97 to 40. His economy is plus 50. Only 4 generators. Now he builds the 5th one on the 21st minute. 3 squads of Necron Warriors, but he is still tier 1. I am tier 2, almost. For the second time. Well, that's your bad. You used all of your resources on the Necron Warriors, on the stupid Overwatch, automatic reinforce, not thinking much about your economy. So complaining about how you played, I don't get why you would do that. And wonder what, I didn't even have the optics all this game, only now I made it. And I thought I had the optics. So these fire warriors were dealing that insane damage with tier 1, even without optics. That was impressing. Well, these full squads of fire warriors here will finally destroy all these Necron Warriors from Seth, like very easy, they can't get close at all. And with the optics now they have increased range, increased range and damage, only now they have that. And it will be over very soon. Full tier 1 and 5 game from Seth and almost full tier 1 game for me because that tier 2 only allowed me to make these devil fishes, I did not make the optics in time, seems like I have, I didn't have enough energy for optics to make and when it got destroyed for the first time, so I only made 2 devil fishes. The rest of the army was tier 1 army against tier, tier 1 and 5 Necron. So I hope you guys like this game, it was quite interesting. Lots of action. I kill 169 units, he kills only 47. And his army size was bigger than mine. Well, this clearly proves uh, that um, he did not use his Necron Warriors effectively, not a good control of them, not a smart usage of them. On resources I won, clearly, on technology, three, three research count for me. 7 unit upgrades, that's uh, upgrades on uh, Tau Commander and probably the stealth suits. I don't remember doing any other upgrades. 
on my units. We both captured 11 strategic points. That's the amount of times we captured a strategic point. Those strategic points on the map were kept going down and up all over again. That's why it shows 11. I captured critical locations 5 times, Seth 4 times. I captured 2 relics. Total score in technology much higher on Seth because of his reinforced units. He used the Overwatch on Necron Warriors completely. Stupid usage of it. He did not use his uh, resources properly. Investing all of them in the Necron Warriors was a big mistake. That's it with this game guys, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave your feedback below the video and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope to see you next time and thank you for watching.